Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to our career playthrough, Need You For Monday Heaven. With me, your host, Lucky Marine, and we're waiting patiently for this to kind of tick down. Um, we've done all we can. Intolerance, yeah, that's bad. Non accepted culture, yeah, that's bad. Can we accept your culture? That might help. We probably do want to be accepted, might you, actually? Yeah, that's gonna be a that's gonna be a definite. What are we getting from this? Local unrest of plus two. Accepting of Manchu would bring us under the level needed. To have this not fire at all. War exhaustion. 1.3, religious unity, yeah. And separatism will come down. War exhaustion and the separatism between themselves should be enough in the next few years to bring us down to an acceptable level. What are you in there? Flat. With a 4-6 composition. Can you get away with a 4-6 composition? It's bizarre. Now the military power. And that's what you can do with me. If you're doing a military idea, then just get all your tributaries to contribute military points. Which means every January you get a massive dump of military... I say massive bump, dump, but he'll get like two from Lang Zhang and let's have a look. He'll get like one from Korchin and two from Haxai and like five from us and one from Yan Zhao. And there'll be some that he won't be able to get a uh, a monarch point from, and at that point, it diverts to either money, which is not needed, or manpower, which again isn't really needed. So if you're too small for monarch points, it flips to money or manpower. But the bigger you get, the more stuff you have to contribute, which is why. We want to get big to the point where we can start challenging him for the uh, Celestial Lampire. Which might be a bit difficult to do. How are you getting on? 1.1. Alright, so it's coming down. We did take a big lump very early on. 138 aggressive expansion it was. 138. Nope. We do need to fabricate. And hack that. Are you come back now? Five military bar. And are we at once con dotieri? No. We use caution for the time being. We we could pick up the uh, inflation advisor and throw caution to the wind, but let's not just yet. A little bit of provincial unrest. Yep. If I brought down military maintenance, we would have provincial unrest. We would have provincial unrest in uh, in here as well. It's only our weight of forces that are here. Friendly troops, minus 3.5. Yep. It's only our friendly troops here that are stopping them uh, from squaring off with us. Rival, arrival, protect our brethren. Yeah, hey, that's what we were waiting for. Maxi's opinion. Well, that's never going to work, is it? That's never going to happen. Go for you. Gives us a claim. Enemy of enemy. Yeah, fair enough. Grab your own. Grab your axe. Oh, that's our humility, I think. 
We'll wait until this has dropped down a little bit more. The last thing we need is to be at war. Pushing up our war exhaustion. And then, how many was it going to be? Oh, it's come down to 8. It was something like 23. And then the last thing we need is like 23,000 Yanzo separatists. Popping off behind us. Gives us time to fabricate a little bit more on Hakai. We should probably be fabricating a claim on Yanzo actually. Why did I put it on Yaren? I don't know. Who is this? Sorry, you're no, no, come back, come back from him. I mean, having diplomats that will go out and do things automatically, it's all well and good. Oh no, no oh, balls. That was a good leader as well. Let's put you in charge. I didn't unleader him from the forces, which was unfortunate. Oh well. Oh well. Should have brought him back and wrapped him in Cornwall. But sometimes when it's their time, it's their time. If they die, they die. But by no work on Yanzo. Can we fabricate on anything? We can. Actually, what? Hey? Japan, are you no longer... Yeah. So why are you... So you don't start as Japan anymore, you start as Ashikaga. That threw me off a little bit. I was like, ouchie, why are you not under Japan? You're under someone else. You're a daimyo of someone else. Hmm. Before you actually start as Japan. Well, you must have to... Uh, you must have to, well, I suppose when you formed the nation, you can then flip to be in Japan. Which would make some more sense. Alright, let's get another claim on Haxi. Jiren, which I assume is where the trade node is. The, the Jirenish trade node. Now from what I can remember, this, there's a state up here where Burata is, that is uber mega rich, like stupidly rich. I think it's all furs or something, and uh, yeah, that will be where we make a lot of our money. Ninety percent. Ninety percent. gonna have to. We need this to stick down. I'd rather this, I'd rather spend the points and have this tick down to zero and then maybe something happen. We lose the stability and it come up again bit by bit. But when you're, when you're hovering at 90% it just needs one bad roll for you to suddenly have to deal with thousands of, of separatists. And if they all popped here, I wouldn't be confident of us winning. Well, I probably would be, but still. Here we go. All these are duckers. But still, I'd rather just get the rebel factions done out of the way. Uh, let's unmop all you. Check your own boats. Bring you around. What's that done? Only, uh, yeah. Only just. Let's line up. On Haxi. 
Moth boy, you. Actually, doesn't have a navy. Nope. Royal guy. Nope. Splendid. And uh, let's switch our photon. With that extra lander that we took. Hard main power now. Okay. With that extra land that we took. No. Because we haven't made it state. Our uh, half force limit hasn't increased. Where are you going? You're at war. Good. Good, good, good. That gave us his time. Right, we want to get into Yehi before Cochin can take it. But we also want to be stacking up on their capital as well. If we come in from this side, then we can support either fight. If we come in from that side, then I would be confident of being able to support a fight if it popped off at Yehi. Chances are we'd have to come all the way out and then round. So let's uh, let's sort our feet out first. And then start the fight. When we can. Might as well bring you back. I know it's only a few percent until we can get another claim, but chances are we're not going to be able to take that claim. So clear war. Yeah. <laughs> Split evenly. And our leader's in the wrong place. Splendid. How many do we need here? Three. And we all need one here. Uh, do we pull people around? Now we know that there's at least 10,000 Haxians up there. So let's pull two Cavernoon infantry off. Leave them with seven. Who can you support once you've fallen? 16. I right, will keep. No, we won't. No, we won't. Think of the devastation. Bring one off. Leave one there, even. Bring everyone else off. You come back as well. I will chuck you in with the one pip of siege. Every little helps. Ming wants a royal marriage, which is always good news. And let's bring two off. Infrastructure, which is base tax, which is admin power. I think I want to go for base tax. Admin points are the uh, the ones that count. So I had to influence Nang Zhang. All right, they could influence us. If a, a great power influences you, they give you an extra point to whatever you're lowest in. So it'd either be military, military power or diplo power. We just get an extra point per month. What is this? Craven. Well, at least it's the queen. And so we wait. I don't want to overextend too much. I don't want to be taking too many losses. I really don't want 6,000 people here when I only need four. But last thing I need is tax eye to come tearing out of the mist with all his cavalry and destroyers in the flat because they get some bonuses in the flats. If you saw when we were fighting in the mountains over here somewhere, I think it was. I think it was here, maybe? I don't know. We're fighting in the mountains and they got penalty for fighting in something that wasn't flat terrain. Stands the reason that they get an advantage of fighting in flat terrain. Let's not let's not hand them any advantages. Oh yeah. Fourth tributary state. Ooh. That'll be interesting. So we've 
Yaren's got involved as well. So this has turned. It's what happens in this start, this part of the world. One person, it's like circling sharks. One of them is deemed to be weak, and so everyone piles in on them. We're just going to have to not be that weak shark. All right, let's step. Let's step off. We may want. We may need this land. Let's not devastate it anymore. But let's do devastate the provinces that aren't going to be ours, that we're not going to take. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh Cochin. What have you done? Cochin brought in Yeren. Does that mean the allies? Oh no. Oh this is not good. That's not good at all. Hmm. You don't have any money because you've just been pieced out of another war. If you want the money, then if you're in the, if you want the money, and you, the target country is a war with other people, make sure that you peace out first, so that you can take it all. There's our humiliate. Go claims on us. And war reps. That's all we want. That's all we want. We satisfy the mission. Good. We also satisfy this. Humiliate rival through peace treaty. Which gives us. It probably needs to tick around again. Uh, but we should get two per month now. Conquer. Halshuka. Bless you. Halshuka. Gives us a claim on Cochin. Who is our rival? Let's, uh, let's do our bit. Wow, really? Why? I suppose we have less overextension this time around. Still non accepted culture. Can we accept that culture yet? It'll be much you, won't it? Well, they have seven development. We need to accept Manchu as quickly as we can. The Manchu... Yeah, we do. We're going to be expanding up into all of this. It makes sense to accept it. We're only going to be taking more. Wow. Um, Cochin and Yeren. Oriat would now I don't think they can call me into a fight against Ming but let's continue to improve relations with them let's wait until the point where they can't call us in offer this alliance because it's essentially Oriat and Mongolia us being allies with them might stop a Koch Junior in tag team fight against us. Perhaps. We'll see. We will see. We're out some corruptions. We'll actually bring down the maintenance, seeing as though it seems to not be an issue. But it the unrest here seems not to be an issue. If you if you park troops on these provinces and they're not a full maintenance, they won't give you the full weight. Um, in terms of station troops. Alright. And let's yeah, let's pull you back from the front line.
And let's also get some ships out as well. Some trade ships. I doubt we're up at our limit, nope. Now we can build Walker Blaze. Good. I know for certain that is a, uh, a place of, of trade. Oh, and this, by the way. This is prosperity. And if this bar fills all the way up, you get all these good things. Now, this doesn't happen if you have devastation. So you want to you want to protect a certain amount of provinces so that they can be prosperous, especially important provinces, important provinces of trade. Uh, also, I found the longer you can have them prosperous for, the more good they're doing for you. Now he wants to be getting all the way up to 100%. As soon as he pops up to 100%, he can click. Well, he can click this now. He only needs 50 to press this button. But if he waits until he gets up to 100 before he clicks this button, it only removes 50 of this. And it keeps him above the threshold where his, uh, his forces start being a bit pants. Not that anyone's going to really mess with me right now. I mean, just look at it. Look at all this. Let's have a look at Ming's military. Fifty-eight thousand. Fair enough. He has no manpower, but he can just pump out mercenaries for as long as he wants. Oh well. And on we go. I mean, if he was to take this now, it would push him below fifty, and that's the time when you want to actually fight back a little bit but still he'd still have cause he'd still have claims it would just require him to get above 50 mandate again his forces would be unstoppable and he'd just come back and crush you and take more than you took you're done you come to watch me play my computer games oh no no You've come to tell me that it's the end of the episode, haven't you? Yeah, me as. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that will be us for this episode. Um, Haxi is now a non-entity. Korchin is allied with Yeren, which is fairly bad for us. Um, our next fight will be against Yanzo. We need to take these two provinces before... I'm sure Yeren's truce runs out after, before our truce with, with Yan's out, but we need to be in there first. We need to stop Yeren from expanding, really. Um, he's got Burata on this side. He can take Haxi, but again, he has a, a truce with Haxi now. We forced him into a truce with us as well, which is nice. Which runs out in 1460 so another five years five years worth of getting things stable work to the last limit yep getting our manpower back and just waiting really mountains woods if they both decide to fight us at the same time I think it's going to be a case of waiting here waiting until they try to take this fort and then take the advantage advantageous fight there are rivers all around it so they're not only going to get the minus two for being the mountains, they'll get the minus three for a river crossing as well. Plus they're going to get the penalty of firing in non-flat terrain. And this is where we hold them. But that might not come to pass. You never know. We'll see. We'll see. So. I've been looking Marine, as always, you lot have been amazing. Join me next time for when all that good stuff happens. We also have somebody locked on the Oriat, so that when 
I don't know if you can be a tributary and have vassals underneath you at the same time. I don't know if that's a thing. If that's not a thing, then we might as well be improving relations with Mongolia. If then become a tributary breaks Mongolian vassalization. We want Mongolia on the other side of Cochin. So we have allies. Anyway, I wish we could see Burrata. But we can't. Anyway, I've been looking at you a lot. I've been amazing. I've already said that, but and you, you, you can be amazing twice. I mean, you know. So until next time, do take care.